So this is not a video I was expecting to make this soon. What is good everybody, my name is Anthony. If this is your first time to the channel, I want to extend a special welcome to you. And for those of you returning, welcome back. I'm glad to see your beautiful smiling faces. This is not a video I was ever expecting to make or ever wanted to make. And by the title, you can probably see where this is going. My Sony a7, the camera that got me into tech videos, is pretty much done for. So I bought this camera back in 2019 for around $700 with a kit lens. I wanted to go full frame and I felt the Sony a7 was a great option, and it was. It served me really well on client shoots, behind the scenes, on commercial shoots. And then over the course, really about six months, I've been noticing the footage of the a7 degrading. It wasn't looking good. It wasn't having a lot of like crispiness to it that it did when I first got it. And yes, I know sometimes sensors degrade after a while, but not less than a year after I got it. I mean, when I made that Sony a7 video back in 2020, the camera was at its peak. It was, I had no idea what was gonna be coming next in the next few months. I mean, even the video I did back in January looks absolutely horrible in comparison to the videos I did just recently. So if you've already watched my Apple Watch Series 6 unboxing and first impressions, if you haven't, check up here and you will be able to see that after you watch this. You can see that the Sony a7 is the main camera. I got the 77D, which is currently being used to film up top, and I've got the A5100 used as a side camera for certain shots. So after that shoot, which was actually filmed way back in November, and I just didn't have the time to edit it, and I was like, this is a three camera setup, it's taking a long time to edit. So that video actually was in the works for a while. Check the link up here and you'll be actually able to see the uh, Apple Watch Series 6 unboxing and first impressions video. But after that shoot, I started noticing the camera quality just overall degrading. The pictures just were not coming out as crisp as I wanted to. When I went to shoot my Ask Anthony video, which if you haven't seen it, check it up here. During that video, I took apart my laptop just to show you the insides kind of what I did and piece of tech I was really proud of essentially I shot the video of my laptop with the Sony a7 it looked terrible it looked as though I was recording on an iPhone 4 or actually sorry that was even better than that a webcam from 2007 it looked so pixelated and I made sure okay I went through everything on this camera I made sure that one, it was in the correct frame rate. Two, the ISO wasn't crazy. Three, the shutter speed was accurate based off of the frame rate. Four, the aperture was correct. Five, I even reset all the sensors, like settings and whatnot to make sure it wasn't something that I screwed up on accident one time. I made sure everything was correct. I don't know why the sensor looks like this. Here's the weirdest, weirdest part. It would not go back to normal. I don't know what to do. So I've come to you for help. Please DM me if you know anything about camera sensors. I'm scared of camera sensors, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, this thing, and I know I shouldn't be doing this, but it's pretty much gone anyway. This thing is pristine. There is nothing wrong with the sensor at all. I've determined it just being an old sensor that was produced in 2013. It's now eight years old. No, this is, this is one of the oldest full frame cameras that is mirrorless that exists and um, it's gotten me some amazing videos out of it. Um, so, big RIP to the Sony a7. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, kind of giving you an update on the Sony a7 situation that I've been posting on Twitter, which if you aren't following me on there, what are you doing? Follow me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments below if you have an idea as to what this could be, what really I could do to fix this and pretty much anything else. Uh, I'm always there, always here to talk. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, Anthony. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.